guys, a wonderful weather today. Today I wanted to review this. Hi guys, wonderful weather today. Today I wanted to share this book that I'm reading. It's called Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Ellen. I learned about this book back in 2017 when I attended this conference called PyCon. During this lightning talk, people, any anyone really who wanted to, just come up on the stage and share some idea, some um, something they know, something something cool for two minutes and they can share anything. And this person came up and talked about this book. They referenced this book and he told us that one of the key takeaways is if any item or task is doable within two minutes, you just stop and you actually do it right there. And that really helped me. That small advice really, really went far for me and it really helped me become much more productive than before. A couple of years later now, in 2019, I really got interested in this book, so I actually rented it out from the library. Core takeaway is this chart, this graph. This was what the person at the PyCon conference was talking about, but now it's more detailed. If you have stuff, you, you capture it and you organize it, you prioritize, you try to understand how important this task is. If the task is something not actionable right now, you put it in the trash, maybe put it in the someday or maybe folder, or just keep it for reference for later. These could be something like buying a house. You might not have enough money right now to buy a house, or you're not, you might not be in the situation to buy a house, then you just put it in that maybe or someday list. It could be something on your bucket list, like doing skydiving, going to Peru, for example. You can't do it right now, you might not have the resources, you might not have the time, then you put it in the maybe someday folder. If the task is actionable, you try to understand what the next actionable task is. You try to understand what you have to do to finish that task. If the task you're trying to complete requires more than one step, you would create a project. And the project will capture all the little smaller tasks that you have to complete to, in order to finish the entire project. Then this is the real important part. If the task is doable within two minutes, you just do it. That moment, you just do it. If the task is not doable within two minutes, you have two options. One is to delegate, meaning you pass it on to someone else. If you have to get something from the grocery, you might ask your significant other, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, if you're living with a roommate, you ask your roommate and ask, hey, can you pick up the milk from the grocery store today? Next option is deferring. This means that you are gonna complete it one day, but instead of doing it now, you place it on a calendar so you know the exact time and date that you're actually gonna do this. By doing this, instead of just pushing it for a future whenever, you actually make time and make sure that you will have time to finish that task whenever it's doable. The book really goes into depth about how you can actually achieve this um, very productive, streamlined workflow. On part two of this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I am using this book's um, advice to actually implement that task management process into my life by using this app called Notion. It's really good. I've been using a couple of different tools so far. I think this really sticks with me and really works. Well, catch you in the next video where I talk about Notion apps.